history is dead. That phrase is etched on my memory because it was at this point I rose in outrage and left that lecture hall never to return. Apparently he had proceeded to say that it died towards the end of the last millennium. But why should I mourn the closing of a club that I was excluded from since birth? As far as I can make out, big history is dead, but it still blocks our view, so reach for a machete and join me in hacking away its shins. With it gone, we will see clearly. History, that is our history, is hidden in every city throughout the world. In alleyways, parks, buildings and train stations, it whispers to us the stories of people who have come before. This is a history of people like us, the common man. They knew they were weak in many ways, but in other ways strong. This is the power of real history. It is true, strong every day. It is relevant and it gives us power and dignity. It does not support the vanity of tyrants. So Julius Caesar, Henry VIII and Napoleon, go fuck yourself. A blind spot gear we have stumbled across this history. And in many ways it is what we have always been seeking. Our bruised and battered city screams from the top of her lungs. Her history is hidden in the abandoned docks, the derelict amusement halls, the graveyards and the disused factories. These are modern ruins. This is slightly a contradictory phrase, but it is the key to understanding their historical fascinations. They are not dead fragments from a previous society or civilization. They are glimpses of our current way of life, merely rewound 20 or 50 years. They not only allow us to feel an intimate human connection with those that have come before, but they also beg us to think about where we are going next. This is why here at Blind Spot Gear we live our life by these three words. Explore, light, live. This has been a letter from the chief explorer of Blind Spot Gear, Billy Campbell.